Hello everyone, welcome to Metro Stage 1.4. So in this update, we made some changes to the tour editor. First of all, if we click here, you'll see that we now have four different views. We have plan view, which uh, looks pretty much the same. Model view also looks the same, but when we go to design view, you'll see that this is what our preview used to look like. So this is now where you can design your tour, um, what you want it to look like, where you want your starting point to be, your starting view. This is where you can add labels, configure your menu, and so on. And when you go to preview, that's where you can actually preview your tour before you publish it. So you don't have the panel cluttering up your space here, and you can just move around and check everything if everything's working properly before you publish. So hopefully that makes it a bit easier to quality check your tour and to customize it. Okay, now going back to design view, another big change we did is we've updated our labels. So if you click here and we add a label over here on the mirror, you'll see that the panel to the right is much different than it used to be. So starting from the top, we have different types of labels now. So you can switch between desktop or mobile, or if you want your label to only be viewed on VR, then switch to VR. You can only pick one. So right now, if we have VR selected and we go to preview, because in preview, you can see what your tour will look like on desktop. You're not going to see your label over here because again, that was in VR. So selecting that label again, and switching it back. Moving on to content. Um, it used to be that if you wanted to add content to your labels, you would have to type it over here. Like, let's say version 1.4. We add that and it's going to appear inside our label like this. But if you wanted to add images or if you wanted to make this bold or italicized, what you would need to do was to open a word processor like Google Docs and format your text there and add images there and then copy and paste it over here, which yes, it was very troublesome. So we made it much simpler now. All you have to do now is click this pencil icon over here and you'll be taken to the label text editor. So here it looks just like a word processor. Um, you can edit your content however you want. So we can switch this to um, heading if we want. We can change the font like this. We can change the font size and we can make it a different color if we want and so on. And you can also add different media to your content now just from the in the editor. So for example, we can add a table. So if we click that, um, and add, let's say, something like that. And then let's upload an image over here. And you can either copy-paste the URL to your image if you've already uploaded it somewhere else, or you can just click here and upload it directly. And you can configure the image size, and once you're happy, click Save, and it's going to show up. We can also add videos by clicking this icon, and in this case, you do have to upload it somewhere first. So for example, YouTube, just click that and configure the size or go here and configure the embed code. Once you're happy, click save and you're going to have your video inside your label. So we can try test it out. Yep, it's working. Oh, and one last thing, you can switch between light or dark mode by toggling this here, just in case you prefer dark mode. Okay, and then once you're happy, you click save and your label content is going to show up like this. Now, one important thing to remember is if you want rich text formatting for your label, meaning you want your text to show up as a heading or you want it to be bold or italicized, um, and if you want images and videos in your label, that's currently only available if you have desktop or mobile labels. If you switch to VR like this, it's only going to show up as code, so just keep that in mind. For now, if you want something to show up in VR, you would have to type it here instead of using the editor just to be safe. Um, we do hope to have rich text formatting available for VR in a few versions, but for now it's only available for desktop or mobile, so just keep that in mind. So other things you can configure, you can upload an icon like before. Um, so let's change the anchor point to look like our logo. 
and now our logo has replaced the icon so it's being covered up by the label so let's make it a bit smaller like that and also we can apply this design to all the icons that we have so if we add a label over here add it there um and we go back here you can select apply to all icons and it's going to reflect in our other labels okay and url links um so again we can type a url here let's say material.com and now when we go to preview if we click on the label it's going to take us to our home page on a new tab although that's only going to be for the non-video parts if we click the video it's just going to play the video not take us to the link okay so back to designing our label moving on so we have the box size so you may have noticed that our label size ought to fit to the contents but you can change that and make it a bit smaller if you want like something like that if you want Although take note, it will cut off your content if you have anything extra. If you don't want anything to be cut off, then I would suggest opening the label edit instead and editing stuff there. Like maybe you could have moved the video down below. Okay, and next, um, styling for the box style. We can change the border now so we can make it a different color and make it show up like this so now we have a red border around our label um we can change the padding of the contents so there's more padding between the edges uh we can change the background color um let's make it a bit pink and then when we hover over it let's make it very dark like that so whichever colors would fit your brand more you can configure a label to fit that as for the link style, so we can switch between arrow and it's going to have an arrow pointing to the icon. We can have a line, we can have a divot, or we can have none at all. So again, up to you. Um, display position, so it can be floating like this relative to the anchor point here. For the angle, this is, um, imagine that this is a circle, like what angle would you like the label to be at so if you want it on the opposite side then you'll have to put it to 180 and it's going to show up on the left if you want it on the right you can make it 0 or 360 or at the bottom you can make this 90 and so on just just take note that it's going to go clockwise so let's put this back to 0 and then length from center to anchor how far apart you want this to be from the anchor point so let's make it a bit further like that and the distance is going to be greater again that's if you want it to be relative to the anchor point but you can also make it relative to the screen space like this if you click fixed in screen space now it's going to be centered so now this one um, however we move it's going to stick to the center of the screen so if we move to the left um, it's going to be stuck to the left if we move it to the right, it's going to be stuck to the right. And you can configure the margin to be a bit less or more. So let's say we make that 500. It's going to have a margin of 500 from the right. And again, you can make these settings apply to all of your labels. So if we click apply all and we select our other label, you'll see that the colors and the numbers are the same here. Okay, and lastly, let's move on to visibility. So to show you visibility, I've added this little label here so we have a bigger room to move around in. And we'll start with fixed in screen space. In this case, you'll have to open it on click. Meaning if you go to preview over here, the only way to open or close your label is to click on the icon itself. Or you can also close it by clicking the X over here. But to open it, you'll have to click the icon. So going back to design view, if you decide to use um, a floating position instead like this, you'll have some more options. So one, you can always have it open. Um, the icon as well, you can always have it visible, meaning as long as you can see this point in your tour, no matter where you move around in, if you look in that spot, you'll see your, your icon and your label. But if you set it to only open on the same panel, like this, 
then it's only going to show up in the panel where you added the label to. So if I move here, I won't be able to see the icon or the label anymore. And then if you want it to show up anywhere in the same room, I can set it to open in the same room and this one as well. So this time, as long as I am inside of this room and I can see that point, I should be able to see both my icon and my label. And open and click again, that just sets how you're able to open or close your label. Okay, so that's it for labels and version 1.4. Again, feel free to play around with these settings and figure out what you want your labels to look like exactly. This is probably one of the most exciting parts of designing your tour, um, so I hope you have fun with it. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and happy tour building!